application now. So first go to uh, library system. Again, this load screen is inside this load screen is inside our view package. So if I go here, we're actually not going to set this screen to the, our, our main screen to visible yet because we want the user to first either load a library, create a new one, or exit the application just showing this screen. So what we're going to do is just delete this. Now if we run the application, we see this. And as you might notice, it's not closing. That's because we set it to, uh, we set the default close operation to do nothing on close. So it's not going to close at all, which is a problem because we don't want that. That's why we, uh, that's why we're going to add the action listener to, uh, that's why we added an exit button which we're going to add the action listener to. So first let's add the action listener to that button. Let's go to a, our uh sorry, add the action listeners to these uh to these new buttons that we created. So go to our library system.java. Go to our action performed right here. And then just put up in here else if event dot get source. get button save and quit because we're gonna have more cases now again we're gonna add three new cases for our new uh, view screen new JFrame for the three buttons so else if event dot get source equals equals uh, our ls dot get button uh, load and again we haven't we haven't created these method yet this method yet but just put it there for now and then again just copy and paste this two more times copy paste paste this last one is not going to be an else I mean, you can just leave it at else because, but uh, I'm just going to use else if. Again, you don't need to put else every time you you use an if and else if statement. You don't need the else to complete that. You can just leave it at else if, the last one. And I'm sorry if I said so, uh, if I said otherwise before, but you can just end this uh, if and else if chain of uh, statements with just an else if and not an else. Get button uh, new. Get button exit. And again, have Eclipse do the job for us. create method all right now instead of object we're going to return a j button i don't even know why i'm showing you guys this you guys should know this how to do this by now um, that is assuming that you uh You've been watching the rest of my videos. We're just going to return here the damn it, the uh, JB load JB new and JB exit. Okay, now that we've done that, let's go back to our library system Java and.
Hmm, what's going on here? Oh, okay. Need extra parentheses here. So just add that in. Alright, then what are we going to do if we load it? Let's put a to do here for now. We're first going to take care of the exit. And again, when you put these to do, Eclipse put a, uh, a bookmark for you. So where, wherever you are on the screen, you just click on these things right here. And it'll take you to the the mark, the to do mark. It's pretty cool. So you just uh, check this side of the screen wherever you have uh, stuff to do or just warnings and stuff like that. Just take you there. It's really very useful. So what what, what do we want to do if we just uh, click on exit without even uh, loading up or starting a new library? All we're going to do is say system.exit. That's it. Now, if we're on our application, again, this won't be able to do anything. It's not going to do anything. But if we click exit, we're actually going to exit our uh, application. And in here, if the user clicks new, all we're going to do is just show. All we're going to do is just dispose of our LS. We don't need it anymore. Dispose of our load screen. <clears throat> and since we're not loading any data, all we're going to do is just set our screen to visible. And that's it for our uh, for our, uh, start new library. This one's not going to do anything yet. Exit, exit works. Start new library just closes this one. It disposes this this frame and it just opens up our library system. All right. Now we've taken care of uh, the case where he, uh, the user just wants to start a new session. Well, what if the user actually has a saved library? So what we're going to do is we're going to create a method here called it load library. We can get the same effect of this uh, of this thing of not doing anything when we try to close it, and we could do uh, we could do uh, the same thing by using a dialog, a uh, J option dialog, or just uh, yeah extending a, a a dialog of some sort instead of a J frame. But for simplicity, we're just going to use a J frame. <clears throat> 